Welcome to this week's Fundraising Friday. This week we're talking about conflict, one of those inevitabilities with any relationship you have. Whether we're talking about your relationship uh, with a coworker, a personal relationship, or even a relationship with a donor, chances are at some point you're going to come into conflict. There are five different stages of conflict and how you manage each one can determine the success or failure of the outcome. The first one is identification that a conflict exists. Both parties don't always identify that there's a conflict. Some think that things are going along just fine while the other one is stewing or angry about something without the other one even noticing it. So when you recognize there's a conflict, then you move into the second stage. And that's the decision whether or not to engage. You have the choice if you're the one who feels conflicted to continue to stew or to confront the other individual and tell them about how you're feeling. I don't know about you, but certainly I find that the more I stew, the worse things get in my head when the reality is when I just tell someone that I'm annoyed with something tends to go away much more easily. But you need to make that decision for yourself. And it depends upon how important the conflict is and how important the relationship is to you. Third part of a conflict is problem definition. And that's when we decide what's the problem. And that sounds really simple, but oftentimes the problem in your head is not the problem that's in their head. And how you define that problem can certainly determine what the solution is. So make sure before you confront someone that you have a good idea of what's bothering you and why, and be open to hearing their interpretation. That leads us to the fourth stage, and that's negotiation. That's when you talk through to come to some understanding of what the problem is and different ways that you might solve it. Again, being open in your communication and really listening are keys to the negotiation process. Finally, you reach the fifth and final stage, and that is outcome. What do we learn from this uh, conflict and how are we going to move forward? Whatever you've negotiated, often it's very helpful to restate that so that both of you have a common understanding of how things are going to move forward. I'm going to do this differently. You're going to do that differently. Um, that can be a very good way to make sure that the conflict doesn't continue or it doesn't create a new conflict. That's this week's Fundraising Friday. Thanks. Have a great weekend.